Hey all, Hazuchio here. Thought I'd do a quick video on Werner's Talent. So starting off, Werner's Talent gives some friendly units within some blocks. Plus one mobility and this buff called Gorilla. When passing through defensive terrain, this unit gains one opportunity to, to avoid the mobility reduction. So you can ignore the terrain. Now this affect some units going through defensive terrain like this. So this cargo is considered a defensive terrain and Ares can normally fly right past all of that. But now we do this and give Ares the buff so he can move one across. But then you fly over this cargo through some this random pattern here. Which can mess up Ares' mobility if you want to use the Act Again skill. But this is a very niche interaction. And something you should keep in mind if you want to take advantage of the mobility buff that Werner can bring you. So let's count these blocks here. Normally Ares can move a total of 5, plus 4 from his 3C. And you expect Ares to move two additional blocks thanks to the Werner talent. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four from the 3C. And then ending here if we want the Ares to take full advantage of Werner's talent. So let's take a look at what actually happens when you use the 3C standing right here. So as you can see, normally. We expect Ares to be able to go to that upper block here, traveling a total of 10, uh, 11 blocks. But Ares can only go up 10 because as he uses 3C, he loses the buff there from Werner. Which gives him the ability to ignore one tile of defensive terrain. So if you want to use Ares, you have to take note of this. Similarly, if you move through the defensive terrain like this first, you lose a bunch of mobility because of this weird angle that Ares have to fly through. So now, instead of going up there, you can only go up here. And Ares is supposed to be able to end on that block instead of three short. Okay, so what is happening here? How do you actually use the full talent? You have to go on this block on the defensive terrain. Actually use it before you use the 3C. Like so. And now if you do this correctly, you can move the full distance for 11 blocks using Everything from Warner's Talent and end here, attack something 12 blocks away. Alright, so that's about Warner's Talent. Let's look at how to actually build Warner. So, Warner has two factions. You normally want to run Warner in a faction of Glory, I mean Empire and Reincarnation. Hilda is going to be the main buffer for Reincarnation, and there are a number of really good faction buffers for Empire. Like Rosencio's one, you can play Leon, Bernhardt later on is going to become good again when he gets his 3C. So Warner might have a place in the box. Now I don't have 3C unlocked here, but 3C allows him to do some really cool things. This 3C, you will most likely just use the speed form here, which increases his most mobility by 3. Every time you use 3C, which you can spam since there's no cooldown, you get plus 1 mobility, uh, stacking up to 3 times, and some extra stats, which is nice. So, Werner can normally move a base block of 5, plus 3 from just the speed form, and then plus 3 more if you use the 3C a couple of times. Plus the soldiers. Mechanical Knights allows you to ignore 2 blocks of rough terrain. 
So, after casting 3C once, you can already move a maximum of 11 blocks, assuming you move through 2 blocks of rough terrain, which can go up even more if you cast 3C 2 more times, up to 13 blocks in total. And that makes this skill really good. It says, when moving 10 or more blocks, this attack ignores guard. So this makes Werner an assassin. So you'll be running this ignore guard skill, this drift for 10% more damage. Or actually, it doesn't increase damage, it just reduces your damage taken. Oh, well, it's not like you have anything else better to run here. And then instead of on rush, you'll be running 3C here. Soldiers, you'll most likely just be running Mechanical Knights to increase Werner's mobility even further. As for class masteries, you can run just the base, basic attack stuff like attack, crit rate, crit damage, skill, maybe health, and then just go attack on everything. Doesn't really matter that much. For best equipment, run blue star. This gives you 15% increased attack here. You should be using Arcane Battle Garb just for the increased fixed damage that can potentially help finish off a low health unit. Though the armor probably doesn't really make that much of a difference. Or Helmet. The best one would be Tears Helmet, which can, which can increase your skill damage by an additional 10%. For accessories, the best one would be Twilight Star, so you can go through stuff like Last Rites, Shrine Maidens, any sort of full health bonuses. Or, alternatively, you can use Lone Stars if you want to just attack with really high attack. Or you can go with an attack accessory like either Drush Talisman, or you can run the Slayer's Emblem. For enchants, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Mostly it's just breeds. You can also run like full moon or rough seas. Chant doesn't really matter all that much. It's mostly about the equipments here. If you have Twilight Star, you greatly increase Werner's potential to kill. And also he helps your other units in the team to catch up to your opponents and engage first. So overall, Werner is going to be a very good assassin that can counter some very commonly used units, like you can outrange Zerida. If Zerida can't ever get into hide and seek, she's not going to do a whole lot. If you engage first, you can run around your opponents and make sure that you have a Better turn to engage when you're facing some short-legged units like Bozo with Bracer that are going to have 3 mobility when you're facing them with 11 mobility. Alright, that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time.